this video I'm going to show you how to set the clock, also how to set program run times on the Pentair Superflow VS pump. When you first install the VS pump, turn on the power, the clock's going to be flashing. To set the clock, you hold down the display button for three seconds. You can either select 12 hours or 24 hours. By hitting the plus, it changes from a 12 hour clock to a 24 hour military time. And you set the time by hitting the plus or minus key here. If you hold it down, it'll scroll through it faster. Hit display to lock the clock in. So after you set the clock, the Superflow VS will run its default program. If you don't want to program in your own program, you can just use a default factory set program. So the pump is really easy to program. You see four indicators here. You speed, time, duration, and watts. When you're programming, you'll see it flash into the one of the categories. It won't flash on watts because that's only going to be shown when the pump is running. Quick clean button is a pre-programmed time that will run the pump for the amount of time that it's programmed for. It comes default set at 3450 RPMs in two hours. And you use the plus and minus keys to scroll up and down the RPMs, also the time and the duration. And the pump has three program time cycles, one, two, and three. All three buttons have to be programmed, so if you don't want to program, you'll zero it out. I'll show you that later when I'm programming it. Then you have the start stop button. If you hit the start stop button, the pump will be off. There's no light. It won't come back on until you hit the start stop again to start it to run its program time. So if you have any kind of problems, you can actually leave the pump off by hitting the start stop. And you'll see the light is off here, so this pump is not going to turn on until I re-engage it. And to maximize the money savings with your variable speed pump, I suggest installing a flow meter like this FlowViz here. The FlowViz flow meter will give you the exact gallons per minute so you can set the run time and RPMs to get one cycle of water through your pool and maximize your energy savings. Okay, when you go to program the run times, make sure the start stop button is not lit up. You want to go ahead and push number one. You can see it flashing at 3000 RPMs. Now you can raise it. You can see the speed flashing. You can raise the RPMs here. This is for program time one. If you want to run at a higher RPM, or you can lower the RPM below 3000 also by hitting the negative key. And the plus key will raise the RPMs. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 3000. That's actually a pretty good speed. Okay, then you want to hit the number one again. Now it's going to start at 8 a.m. I'm going to actually start a little bit later. I'm going to start at 9 a.m. Hit the one again. Now you see the duration. I'm going to have this run for three hours. Hit the program one again. So it's all set at 3000 RPMs at 9 a.m. Running for three hours. Now for program two, 1400 RPMs. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that down actually to about 1200. And it's gonna run for 10 hours. I'm gonna run that for eight hours here. And in program three, running at 2200 RPMs and it's going to be running for two hours. So if you don't want three programs, what you do is you zero out the RPMs. So I'm going to go ahead and zero out program three and bring it down to zero. So now zero down. It doesn't matter if it's going to run for two hours, it's not going to come on. And then I'm going to go ahead and program the quick clean. So the quick clean runs at 3450 RPMs. You do the same thing, you put your button again, it runs for two hours. I like always having the timeout mode run for three hours. So that's set. And this one can't be programmed for a time. The quick clean is just a one touch button to run the pool. So this pump is set to run at 3000 RPMs from 9 a.m. for three hours, which means it'll turn off at noon. Then program two will start immediately after program one. It'll run from noon at, for 1200 RPMs. And it's gonna run for eight hours. So it'll turn off at eight o'clock at night and I don't have anything running in program three, even though there's a time duration set for two hours. There's no speed, so it won't run. So this pump has two programs in it, one at 3,000 RPMs and one at 1,200 RPMs. So that's how you program the Superflow VS pump. It's very easy. So once you have everything programmed, go ahead and hit the Start Stop button. Depending on which time of day it is, program one set to run at this time, so program one will start.
2,000 RPM, so pump is moving 40 gallons per minute. 